Hey Internet, I'm Mikhail Says Moo, and you're watching Dr. Moo Adventuring Bovine episode 14, a Minecraft 1.5.2 Let's Play with a bunch of mods installed. Um, he's been doing this thing for quite a while, so I've just started my game right here again. Um, hopefully he'll hatch any second now. Uh, we've been... We put this dragon egg here last episode, and he started kicking a bit, and I went upstairs to gather some components to make some armor. Uh, I also grabbed uh, some fences and put them up here because uh, I'm not sure how tame he comes out, and I don't want him jumping off before I get a chance to tame him. <laughs> that would suck. Make a dragon and have him fall to his death? Oh man, that would just... <laughs> I think I'd cry. And there's nothing worse than watching a cow cry. Um... But, we've got some components here for Master's Armor, so maybe I will just uh, go like this. And we'll keep an eye on him while we work on these. So, blue on top, a couple of these, and then what was it? The rune and water, alright. There we go, Master's Hood. Armors, five, gold in the middle, and then earth. Man, I can hardly wait for that little guy to hatch. <laughs> Come on, any time now, dude. Uh, some leggings, two blue, rune on top, fire in the crotch, that's right. Two blue. Oh, why did he stop? Okay, he's still doing it. He's just... You still doing it here? Oh yeah, you're still cruising away. Okay, cool. And one more piece here. Boots. Blue, rune, wool, air. Alright. Blue. Sweet, there we go. We got a full set of armor. Nice. We'll go ahead and replace the iron wood and iron we've been wearing with uh, some nice wizardly robes. Now we can be a true sp oh, sounded weird. It was just a little double tap. <laughs> I'm just totally on edge here watching this and I'm going to babble until he hatches so bear with me. Um, oh, I heard something. hear the sound again. Um, anyway, I was saying we've got this master armor, and as you can see up in the top in the UI for Ars Magica, it shows you what um, pieces you're wearing. Uh, those also, when they're in color like that, are kind of the refresh timer on a special power they have. Uh, the boots are like a one-time feather fall type buff. The legs, I think, put out fires, so if you uh, set yourself on fire, it'll put it out. The chest plate heals you, and I don't remember what the top one, is, the hat is. Maybe uh, suffocation, something like that. It might refresh suffocation. Come on, little guy, you can do it. You can do it. Um, so we'll, we'll put all this stuff up, but not yet, because I I don't know. I just get the feeling it's gonna hatch any second. Man. I hate to turn off the camera and you guys miss it, but I, I can't think of anything else to babble about. Well, what are we going to do today? Um, first off, I definitely want... Well, as soon as the dragon hatches, I'm just going to coo and drool all over myself while I watch my dragon. But uh, I do want to make some safari nets. Uh, I should have made them a while ago uh, and just start capturing things as I'm tootling around doing other things. And so I've got a menagerie of creatures for this area. Um, because I would like to, as I've mentioned a couple times, beautify this area and kind of supply it with a few creatures. From Twilight Forest and Project Zulu, just various various things that I find here and there. So I'll whip up a bunch of safari nets. Um, I think I'll probably get started on just a little bit of Thomcraft on camera, and then I'll do the rest off camera between episodes, just because uh, it's all just research but I should probably at least go through it real quick on camera. Yeah, that was a nice little burst there, but he's not not doing not popping out yet. Man, I wonder how long he does this. 
I must have caught him right at the beginning of his uh, timer when he started doing this last time because it just feels like he's been doing it forever. Um, maybe we'll get started on some of the beautification, but I don't know how much of that is good for on camera. Oh, actually, you know, maybe we'll start on some farms too. So we'll do some safari nets and then we'll start some thomcraft and then we'll do maybe a little bit of, of farming. I'll figure out where I want to do some planting upstairs on the top of this mesa and we will plant some of those uh, magic crops that we've been looting from chests. Alright, well, come on little dragon. Uh, I will probably just uh, stop talking here for a bit and edit out when he is not spawning and then come back as soon as he starts again. So. I'll just keep an eye on him here. There he is! Look at him! Look at this little cutie. So let's feed him fish and uh, tame him. Oh no, come on, dragon. Why don't you follow my commands? Nope. I thought it was you feed him fish. Well, maybe he's got to be fully grown before you can tame him. In which case, it's probably a good thing I put a fence here, because I suspect if he's wandering around that much, he's just going to do something stupid like jump off. Um, hopefully he can't get into that lava over there, too. Maybe I should uh, block that off a little bit. Do I have any... No, I don't really have any blocks on me. He sure is following me, though. He's super cute. Look at him. doesn't follow my commands. Well, darn it, he should. I'm his master. I found his egg and I hatched it. Follow me. Well, um, I will, uh, oh man, look at him. He's so cute. I will, um, head upstairs and we'll get started working on something else now that he's hatched, I guess, and we'll leave him to it. And maybe when he grows a little bit, I will be able to tame him. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, I'm back up here in my hut, and uh, I just looked up uh, dragon mounts again just because I was curious, and it does look like they have to grow up before you can tame them. So we'll just keep heading down there and keeping an eye on the little guy and see how he's doing. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, as you can see, I've started looking up safari nets, and I do have everything I need here. I've got a little bit of slime anyway. Let's see. Oh, I got plenty of slime. Let's make like well, at least six or eight of them probably. And there's some string, and there's some leather. So let's see, what was the recipe again? Slime in the middle, one leather and four string? Oh yeah, no problem. We'll get a bunch of those. Nice. And unfortunately, they don't stack, but that's all right. Um, that's what our tool bag is for. And what these do is you can scoop up entities with them, mobs and creatures and stuff like that. Uh, and then you right click again later and set them back down wherever you want them. Uh, and I'm going to use that to capture things like deer and maybe uh, some rams and sheep and stuff like that. Just so I've got them for uh, my area up here because I want to keep them around. Bring in some creatures from the twilight forest and that sort of thing. Um, the next thing we need to do is kind of look around and decide where I want to put my farm. I do kind of have a nice area right here. Maybe this isn't a bad spot for it. I could even flatten this out a bit further if I want just a little bit more room. And then this goes down to just a viewpoint, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad area. I could probably go with that. Maybe we'll, maybe I will flatten out just a bit more space and maybe cut down a couple more trees. Because uh, what I want to do is I want to build just a little house next to it and then have uh, a fenced-in farm. 
Um, hmm. Where do I want it? All right. Well, I will uh, maybe smooth some things out and take a look here and decide exactly how where I want this set up. And I will be back in uh, another second, I guess. So I've been working on that farm, and it looks like he's uh, growing a bit. That's cool. I don't know that he's quite up to a point where I can feed him yet. We'll see. Nope, still doesn't follow my commands, but he is definitely getting bigger. Look at him. And he follows me around when I'm carrying fish. He likes that fish. <laughs> Too funny. Well, we'll head back to the farm. I'll show you what I've done so far. Alright, back up here. I just had a uh, big skeleton spawn inside my house. Actually, right on top of my house. Uh, got a nice bow, though. I have to take a look at that. Alright, so this is what I got here for the farm. Come on, one click. There you go. Got my little farmhouse right here way in and just this nice big area here for farmland. I think that'll work pretty well for me. Um, I've also eh, put in a couple more stairs and that sort of thing. Boring. Whatever. And started blocking out this tower just a little bit. That's when I noticed the big dude up on top of my roof. I'm like, wait a minute, what are you doing up there? Then he shot me and took out a heart and a half. I was like, holy crap. So, doing pretty good so far. Um, can't quite decide what I want to make that house out of. I might... let's see what I've got here for building materials. Got 48 of these. Maybe I'll use some of those. And some wood. What do I have for wood here? I got, well, I got plenty of pine. Oh, there we go. Spruce. That'll look good. Must have been on that skeleton guy. Um, and I think I'll just do kind of one of my normal little houses. Put the cobblestone down on the bottom. I have any cobble left on me? Doesn't look like it. There we go. Kind of a Tudor style house here. Alrighty. Door will probably have to go maybe right there. So we'll line the bottom with some cobble. Except for the corners. And yeah, I think I want it there. Then for the corners, we'll use this wood. wood up on the top like this yeah let's block it out and we'll see how that looks all right and then maybe this stuff for the rest with a couple windows in it um, well, I'm thinking that whole thing right there can be a window. This is kind of the 
bedroom back here, I think. And then, hmm, do I want to put a piece of wood right here? I might. And then a nice big window over here. Or at least a window like right there. That looks pretty good. Window there, window there. Yeah, that's not bad. And I think I do want to put some more wood right here. Just like that. Yeah, that's not too shabby. That'll do for a basic little farmhouse type. Um, what do I want to do with this wall? I think I might just fill it all the way in. I don't think I want to put any windows on this one. There we go. Let's go get some panes. house here. Obviously I still need a roof, but I'll get to that too. Oops. Yep. Glad I brought more. There we go. Yeah, it's a nice looking little house. I really do kind of like these, uh, me and air blocks uh, for house building. They look pretty good. All right, then what do I want to do for a roof? Probably just a basic uh, stair type roof. Yeah, I think so. Let's go back and get some wooden stairs. I think I'll just go with oak because it'll match the fences. I guess I won't necessarily make you watch me putting the roof on top. Not terribly exciting. So I will be back in just a bit. There we go. Just a cute little farmhouse. Nothing too fancy, but it is all finished up. Uh, well, I don't have any flooring in here yet. Go up here and you've got an, a little bit of storage. I'll put a chest or something up here probably of some sort. Um looking pretty good though. Now we just need to get to the farm, but first I want to go back and check on that dragon again. Let's go see here. Come on, dragon. Well, there he is. He looks like he's a little bit bigger, maybe. Ender dragon, yep. mine? I don't know. I didn't see any hearts, but... Nope. Let's go get a couple more fish. See if we can't tame him. I 
Wasn't sure if it just took one or not. So let's go grab a couple more. What do I have? I got nine fish. Okay, cool. Come on, dragon. I raised you. You wanna like me. There we go. Now I have myself a pet ender dragon, and there we go, we just saddled him. Um, how's his size look? I might need to make this just a touch bigger. Uh, looking pretty good though, I guess. How do I get that on him? Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, I can't quite fly in here. take these down now, because I don't think he's going to fly away from me anymore. And then we want to go for a fly. Heck yeah. Alright. Let's go. Sweet! <laughs> That's just awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Got myself a dragon. Hello, villagers. Are you afraid of me yet? Because you should be. Fear will keep them in line. Awesome. Now let's see if we can't take this thing back and land him. This is gonna be tricky. Wow, yeah, this is definitely gonna be tricky. Um, maybe we will F5 a couple times here and back up. I'm going to have to make this just a little bigger for him. Alright, sit down. There you go. Good boy. Yeah. Who's a good Ender Dragon? You're a good Ender Dragon. Yes, you are. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm definitely going to have to find another Dragon Egg and get another one. He's too cool, but uh, we'll use him to fly around and maybe grab some more... Uh, flying ruins and stuff, that'll make those a heck of a lot easier than going out in boats. But I'm also going to have to widen this just a couple more, probably. Make this cave just a little bit bigger. It's not bad once he's inside, but this entrance is just a little too small. So I'll do that off camera, though, obviously. Um, for now, though, let's go back and uh, finish up this farm. Alright, not nearly as exciting as the dragon, but we gotta get it done, so gotta do it. So let's see what we got here. We got plenty of room. I'm thinking I might just cage a couple animals back here. Uh, nothing particularly fancy, but just a couple animals. Or maybe even here. And then just grow stuff out here. I think that should be enough room to look pretty good. So, let's get my fences out. Yeah, something like that, maybe. And just pin some sheep or something right there. Probably sheep, I would think. Yeah, more than likely. 
Maybe I can get a couple sheep and a ram and just put them in here. That'd be cool. And then we will start planting some actual plants in here. So I'll have to figure out exactly what I want. Uh, let's go through my seeds and, and see what I've got. How many different plants we've got. There's tons of them now. So let's see, we got regular wheat. Pumpkins and melons. Nether wart. Do I want to grow another wart up here? Maybe. We'll we'll put a solid maybe on that. Uh, sunflowers. There's actually two kinds of sunflowers. Oh man, we got the berry bushes too. Hmm, excuse me. I don't think I'll grow those inside here though. I'll put those somewhere out pretty elsewhere. And we got diamond, iron, gold, blaze. Holy cow, we just have so many. Man. Well, I guess we just plot where our path is going to be. Let's just grab like a little bit of gravel for right now or something. just straight through. I don't think there's any reason I should need to deviate from this. And yeah, that looks pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's perfect, actually. So one, two, three, four right there. We'll put some water. One, two, three, four. All right. Hmm. What do we want to do right here then? And over here is four squares. We'll need a way to get into the sheep pen. maybe can be something that doesn't require water. I don't know. Oh, we could put pumpkins and melons along here. That'll be perfect. Yeah. I don't know what can grow right here without water, but we'll, we'll put something there. One, two, three, four. Pretty dark here, there we go. I guess I could put some berries right along in here. That wouldn't be too bad. Alright, well, let's make a hoe and I'll start plotting it out a little bit and I'll pick you guys back up in just a little bit. All right, and there we are. We've got a nice little farm. Um, I've got all kinds of stuff in here, including signs showing what I've got. So wheat and barley, watermelon and pumpkin, sunflowers. Went down with a couple of those uh, safari nets and picked up a couple of the sheep that have been roaming around this area. Uh, these are some of the magical crops that I've got planted. As you can tell, they've got neat little uh, particle effects. 
Um, and then if we come in here, I've got cotton and gasol, chili peppers and cucumbers, corn and tomato, strawberry and melon, grape raspberry, and then this is blackberry here. So I've got all kinds of stuff planted. Um, I was just out kind of killing some stuff, and my bat got himself uh, hurt a little bit. He's had one health, so I need to heal him back up. But I did get him up to level two. Go flee, and now he's serious. <laughs> so let's see here. I think I've got a couple more pumpkin pies. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I got a creeper head. That's cool. I didn't even notice. All kinds of stuff there. Yeah. That was a pretty successful flight. Or f fight, rather. Um, how do I feed him if he's injured? I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to look that up, I guess. Well, I'm kind of not feeling terribly inspired now to do Thalmcraft, so we'll pick that up another time. Uh, we did get our uh, garden planted and all going there, and of course we hatched the dragon and flew around on him a little bit. Actually, let's just go check on him one more time. We'll finish up the episode down here looking at my dragon. Into the secret door, and here we go. How you doing? You chilling there on your uh, little hay straw? There you go. Get back over there. There you are. Yeah, I haven't uh, made this cave any bigger yet, but I will. I'll make it just a bit bigger so I better accommodate him. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and you'll come back next episode. In the meantime, have fun, and keep mooing!